Hello all, I own a Landroid lawn robot for a few years now and ooh, it's very dirty indeed to be honest but that's the least of my problems as the Landroid tries to start mowing but then immediately stops uh, when it comes off the base with the arrow E1. This means there's a break in the boundary wire. This would be indicated by a red light but as you've seen the light is still green. So let's check and see if there's a method to find the break in the boundary cable and where it would be. I have now disconnected the buried in boundary wire and as expected with any kind of boundary wire break, the LED is now showing a red light. I will now test quickly with a short piece of loose boundary wire cable that I've laying around to make sure the LED switches back to green and that the Landroid goes into mowing mode. This is just to check that nothing is fundamentally wrong with the robot itself. So here you can see now the wires connected in a big loop and the Landroid is placed in the center of it. And I will now reset, currently it still shows E1, but I will now get the Landroid in mowing mode. And as you see, it starts up and it tries to mow. So nothing wrong with the Landroid, all fine here. With a temporary working piece of the cable, I just check the resistance, which is none or very low, as you can see here. I will next check the proper boundary wire for resistance and I would expect it to show uh, again a low resistance like around about 5 ohm possibly because of the length of the cable. Here we have now both ends of the buried cable connected to my multimeter and I will not hold the cable um, in order to remove my body as a resistor. As the multimeter is auto-scanning, it fluctuates from higher resistance to fully open, which is expected with this kind of high resistance. And what we will do next is we will set it to a set value within the mega ohm range to start off with. So I now set the multimeter to mega ohms and you can see it's 0.15 mega ohms on the cable, so 155 kilo ohms. Could be an open connection, but some moist soil may just bridge it a little bit. Well enough for the LED to light up, but not good enough for the lawn droid to start going and to find the boundary wire. For the next steps of finding the location of the break in the boundary wire, we're using a long wave radio. And first of all, we need to disconnect one end of the boundary wire to create like an antenna. Then we switch the radio to a long wave frequency and see if the channel creates the least high pitch noise but the most crackling when held over the connected end of the boundary wire. We ensure that the base station is powered up at the stage and follow the way through the boundary wire from the connected end having the white crackling noise until it stops. When the noise stops means there is a break in the cable. So for the next part just a bit of a warning. I have filmed this with the vertical video syndrome but also uh, I will switch to the audio on my phone because um, I'm using a radio and so you can hear the frequencies. I The quality may not be as expected or may not be as great but hopefully it demonstrates what I'm trying to bring across here. So a few hours later and a few pounds lighter I've got a FM AM radio. 13 pounds from Argos and I think I found already the problem. But you can hear difference in tone. And somewhere here, I believe it ends. Here's a cable bear. And somewhere here. He will still have some signal. And 
and he will start to lose it. So I have a dig here. So a little bit of digging revealed that I had a very short piece straight at the base which is pulled off or snapped off. So I'm going to replace it and hopefully my lawnmower starts working again. So I've got the fix repaired and we just do a quick sanding check with the multimeter to make sure we don't have any further breaks. Okay, get this coupled in here. So I've got one end already in my hands, the other one I connect here, and let's have a look. Meter set to ohms, around about 2 ohms, which is pretty much nothing. So no further breaks, hopefully we put it all in, and we are ready to go. So the moment of truth, switching the lawnmower on. Usual password. E1. Press start and press start again and go and it looks all promising. I can confirm, fault has been found and everything is officially fixed.